In this video, we're going to learn how to deal with this jam physics exam repeated questions under the subtopic magnets and earth's magnetic field. So we're going to practice with 30 repeated questions for this subtopic. Let's get started. The first question I have here says to protect a material from the influence of an external magnetic field. The material should be kept in a we have option A triangular zinc ring square steel ring loop of copper wire soft iron ring so the right option to this question is option d which is soft iron ring okay very important the next question is this one it says which of the following methods can be used to demagnetize a magnet we have sealing the magnet in a non-magnetic container cutting the magnet in half applying a strong magnetic field in the opposite direction heating the magnet to a high temperature so the right option this question is option d which is heating the magnet to a high temperature the next question will be this one it says steel is more suitable for permanent magnet than iron because the former is an alloy of many metals is easily magnetized by alternating current through one cycle retains magnetism more than iron is easily demagnetized by sharing by, sh by sharing vigorously so guys the right option to this question will be option c which is retains magnetism more than iron okay so that's the right answer the next question will be this one it says what is the best method of demagnetizing a steel bar magnet we have beaten it solenoid methods hammering rough handling it rough handling is so the right option is option b which is solenoid method the next question will be this one it says steel is more suitable for permanent magnet than iron because the steel is an alloy of many met metals i think i will answer this question is easily demagnetized by sh sharing vigorously is more magnetized by alternating current through one cycle retains magnetism more than iron so the right option is option d retains magnetism more than iron the next question will be this one it says the diagram above shows a magnet x which is south pole moved along a soft iron bar pq in the direction shown after some time the pole at p and q respectively are so we have option a north north south south north south south north so guys the right option to this question will be option b which is south south okay so take note of this particular question the next particular question will be this question it says what is the angle of dip and the magnetic equator so the angle of dip is basically zero degrees take note of it the next particular question will be this one it says the conversion of powder magnet into solid blocks by the application of heat and great pressure is called we have flossing handling we have magnetization centering so the right option is question is option d which is centering the next of the question will be this one it says in the diagram above if the south poles of two magnets stroke a steel bar the polarities at t and v will respectively be so we have south and north, north and north, south and south, north and south. And the right option is option B, which is north and north. Okay. The next question will be this one. It says, which of the following statements is correct about angle of dip at various points on earth? We have the angle of dip is greater at higher altitudes than the lower altitudes. We have the angle of dip is greater at higher altitudes than at lower altitudes. The angle of dip is zero at the equator 90 degrees at the magnetic poles. The angle of dip is constant at all points on Earth. The angle of dip is positive in the northern hemisphere and negative in the southern hemisphere. So the right option is option B, which is the angle of dip is zero at the, at the equator and 90 degrees at the magnetic poles next question will be this one it says the temperature above which certain materials lose their 
permanent magnet properties is called rear breaking point, magnetic point, boiling point, courier point. Right option is option D, which is courier point. Next question will be this one. It says from the above, the polarity of X and Y ends of the magnets are we have south and south, we have south and north, north and north, north and south. So the right option to this question is option C, which is north and north. Next question will be this one. It says at different locations on the Earth's surface, the Earth's magnetic field is the same in magnitude but different direction, this different in magnitude but different in direction, different in both magnitude and direction, the same in magnitude and direction. So the right option this question will be option C, which is different in both magnitude and direction. Next question will be this one. It says the diagram above represents the field pattern obtained by bringing the poles of two magnets near each other. The poles must be we have north north poles, south south poles, south south north poles not south pose so the right option this question will be option b which is south south pose the next question will be this one it says in the diagram in the diagram below the direction of the force between n and x north and south pose a the magnetic field is so guys before we attend this question if you are new to our channel ensure that you are subscribed to this channel by hitting subscribe button for more of our videos we really appreciate this guys so for this particular question i want you guys to pay attention to it the right option this question maybe option d which is north south pole okay next of the question will be this one it says which of the following statements is not correct neutral points are obtained where the s magnetic field is exactly equal and opposite to that to that due to a magnet a line of force is line is a line along which a magnetic north pole would tend to move if it were free. Magnetic fields are scalar quantities. A magnetic field is a region in which a magnetic force can be detected. So the right option is option C, which is magnetic fields are scalar quantities. So this is not correct. Magnetic fields are vector quantities. Very important. They are not scalar quantities. Next question will be this one. It says the angle between the direction of the S magnetic field and the horizontal is called the we have magnetic declination, magnetic meridian, angle of dip, angle of deviation. So the right option is option C, which is angle of dip. The next question will be this one it says what is the most efficient way of demagnetizing the magnet? Guys, pay attention to this question. We have none of the above, we have heating method mechanical method, electrical method, so right option is option Z, which is electrical method. Next question will be this one. It says, which of the following is the property of steel? It cannot retain its magnetism longer than iron. It can be used for making permanent magnets. It can be used for making temporary magnets. It can easily be magnetized and demagnetized. The right option is option B, which is it can be used for making permanent magnets. Next question will be this one. It says the north pole of a magnet can never be separated from the south pole because of a property known as we have magnetic monopole, magnetic, magnetic quadrupole, magnetic dipole, magnetic octopole. So the right option is option C. Pay attention to this question. Magnetic dipole. Okay. The next of the question will be this one. It says. A freely suspended magnetic needle makes an angle of zero degrees with the horizontal at a location X of the X surface. Which of the statements is correct about X? Well, the I list here X is located on the magnetic equator, X is located on the magnetic pole, the declination, the, the declination at x is zero the geographical and the magnetic meridians coincide at point x the right option this question is option b which is i only that's the correct one idea which is s is located on the magnetic equator so option b is the right one the next of the question will be this one it says which of the following statements correct about x magnetic field the angle of declination is the angle between the magnetic meridian and geographical 
and geographic meridian. The angle of dip is the angle which freely suspended magnet makes with the vertical. The angle of declination is the angle which magnetic compass makes with the magnetic meridian. The angle of inclination is the difference between the angle of dip and the angle of declination. So the right option is option A, which is the angle of declination is the angle between a magnetic meridian and geographic meridian. So pay attention to this question. Okay, between a magnetic meridian and geographic meridian. Next of the question will be this one. It says the magnitude of the angle of dip at the equator is so it's obvious zero degrees. Next question will be this one. Which of the following is an example of a natural magnet? Pay attention to this question as well. We have lost stone, refrigerator magnet, electromagnet, neodymium magnet. So the right option is option A, which is load stone. The next question will be this one. It says, which of the following is a property of steel? It cannot retain its magnetism longer than iron. I think I've already answered this question. It can be used for making temporary magnets. No, it can. Is the magnetized and demagnetized? No, it can be used for making permanent magnets. That's correct. Option D. The right option. Next question will be this one. It says the most suitable type of magnet for magnetic shielding is we have metals, we have temporary magnets, we have metal, we have permanent magnets. So the right option this question will be option D, which is permanent magnets. Okay. The next the question will be this one. It says as magnetic equator passes through just in Nigeria, adjust the magnet the magnetic declination is 90 degree, angle of variation is zero, angle of dip is zero, horizontal component and the S field is zero. So the right option is option C, which is angle of dip is zero. The next question will be this one. It says which of the following diagrams represent the magnetic field of two isolated unlike poles? Pay attention to this question. The correct option here would be option C. If you check between this north and south pole, the lines of forces are pointing outward. Okay, whereas in this D, the difference between this C and this is that in this D, the lines of forces are pointing inwards. Okay, but here the lines of forces are pointing outwards. The right option is option C. Last question before I end this video with this one. It says in the diagram above, if the south poles of two magnets stroke a steel bar, the properties at x and y will respectively be. So the right option in this question will be option B, which is not and not. Okay, so this basically can deal with problems involving magnet and s magnetic field we practice with that equations for this subtopic hope let's start the interesting in the video let's go to the video guys if you are new to our channel once more ensure that you are subscribed to this channel by hitting the subscribe button for more of our videos also like share and comment on this video tell me how you feel what i learned from this video if you seem to have any specific questions to ask again what i've talked about in this video feel free leave a question and comment section below and i'm sure to give you a response also ensure that are part of the channel membership by clicking on the join button where you will be receiving special information that will help to simplify your academic problem. Alright, so having done that, click on the next screen above and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.